Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War is arguably the greatest COD Zombies we've ever received. Now during the life cycle of the seasonal updates, it is debatable, but with the finished product that we now have in completion, I will stand by that statement until something better comes out. We have four really good round based zombies maps, the first open worldish mode outbreak, a crap ton of onslaught maps, and some different varying modes that involve outbreak and onslaught both. We were living in a sea of good zombies content. I think one of the greatest additions to Cold War Zombies was the perk and upgrading system, and we seriously need it back in Black Ops 6. Now before I continue, I want to apologize for the way my voice sounds. I currently have a cold, and it's taken my voice away. Um, so a like and a subscribe would be greatly appreciated. So let's continue. So for reaching high rounds, doing easter eggs, finishing objectives, and going to other worlds, higher worlds, and outbreak, you were rewarded with crystals. These were raw, refined, and flawless ethereum crystals. So you'd use these crystals to unlock different tier upgrades for your weapon classes, your field upgrades, and your perks to help you survive longer and to be a more effective zombie slaying machine. You had incentive to continue going for those high rounds, the higher worlds, because you had something to work towards, becoming unstoppable. And as I mentioned just a bit ago, these perks and skills had different tiers. And I wanted to dive into that just a little bit more because some of these upgrades were really freaking amazing. So if we look at the Juggernaug Soda, for example, we can see that it increases our health and armor durability, but it also gave us a dying wish of sorts at tier 5. Now my personal favorite, Stamina Up, allows you to be immune to all fall damage at only perk tier 2. If you were to combine that with the maxed out tier 5 PhD slider, and when you fell from a height, you're going to cause an explosion to go off. The higher you are, the bigger the explosion. It was a lot of fun, and this was honestly something that I wish they would have implemented into Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, but sadly, they did not. Another great example would be Quick Revive at perk tier 5. When you killed an enemy while you were downed, it would revive yourself, and this came in handy in so many different instances. To get all of these skills and things upgraded 100%, you're easily looking at anywhere from 50 to 100 hours of gaming. And sadly, they didn't include any of these perk upgrades in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, but everything you did unlock through your missions was then hidden behind a cooldown window. And yes, they have added a few things to lower those cooldowns down, but it's definitely left a bad taste in the mouths of most hardcore Zombies fans, including myself. Now don't get me wrong, I have had some really great moments in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, and my thoughts and opinions may change with these next couple of seasons, but Black Ops 6 for sure needs to be more like Cold War versus Modern Warfare 3. Do I think that the perk and upgrade system is the only thing that needs to be added to Black Ops 6? No, but in addition to that, I think a good story, the easter eggs, uh, easter eggs of all kinds for that matter, uh, the set crew, uh, gripping gameplay are all signs that Black Ops 6 could be potentially the greatest zombies of all time. Do I have hope that Black Ops 6 will live up to the hype? Yes, I do. Uh, the developers, Treyarch, they've had at least two to three years working on this new new game. Uh, we are getting two round-based maps at launch, and I think those are all good signs. But I want to know all of your guys' thoughts and feelings on Black Ops 6 in the comments below. Do you think if they added the Cold War perk and upgrading system into Black Ops 6 that it'll, it'll give you guys incentive to purchase the game, to put hundreds of hours into it? Let me know all things, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more gaming content. Peace, everybody.